What's going on Colts Nation? I appreciate you joining me for another video where today I want to talk about some injury news, some things that happened yesterday. Unfortunately, I worked a day job all day yesterday, wasn't able to get a video to you guys, but just a couple of things here. And we'll start with the good news where you have Raekwon Davis coming back to football, able to practice yesterday for the first time as the Colts practice against the Bengals and joint practice uh, the game tomorrow. Um, so, I expect that we'll see some Raekwon Davis on the field. Uh, maybe not a whole lot since he's just now coming back. Only had one practice. Uh, you don't want to get a guy hurt, so he might not play at all. Uh, or just play a little bit. I don't know just how much we're going to actually see him on the field. I mean, it'll be interesting to see what happens with that. But getting him back, Tommy Ade looking like he's taking a step and becoming who we thought he might be, that's great. So our depth on the defensive line, getting deeper um, right before we're going into the season, love that. So Raekwon Davis is coming back. Now, this is where the conversation turns. Okay, people told me I was crazy when I said that there's a possibility Jelani Woods ends up getting cut. And then Jelani Woods ends up, <laughs> he is now out indefinitely. We are at a place where he gets a toe injury um, so randomly in a preseason game. And now he's going to be out indefinitely. It doesn't sound like he's going to be out for the year. But the only thing we really have to go on is that he's going to be, um, what was it, Steichen said, out for a couple months or out for some time, something like that. Um, so no, nothing definitive on Jelani Woods. But he missed all of last year with hamstring injuries. He's going to miss most or all of this season uh, because of a toe injury. And then he was already battling for a playoff or for, for a roster spot. So if, if you're Shane Steichen, right, you're a new coach, you didn't draft Jelani Woods, like you're not part of that regime. Um, and since you've been here, you really haven't gotten to do a whole lot with Jelani Woods, especially in game action. So at what point, like if you're trying to make roster cuts, we've been talking about Maybe there's a hard decision that has to be made on these tight ends. It sounds like Jelani Woods could be somebody that is one of those hard decisions. And yeah, he what he his potential is, you don't want to cut a guy like that. Um, and maybe somebody else picks him up even though he's injured. But at this point, like Will Mallory looks like he can be a valuable piece. Ogletree and Cox, those guys um, are really good blockers. Granson, obviously, a receiving threat um, and a mismatch kind of guy. So I just, when you look at, again, the way the roster's to be constructed, is there really room for Jelani for a guy that, that is once again – Going to miss a bunch of time this year. I just don't know if Steichen's going to keep him around. Now, of course, there's a possibility of him getting put on the PUP. Um, there's a possibility that they try to make roster cuts to get to 53, keep Jelani on the 53, and then put him, him on the IR and bring back one of those guys. I saw somebody say um, that it would be Ronnie Harrison would be the guy where you, you, you cut him for a day, um, you, you have Jelani make the 53, and then you put Jelani on the IR, bring Ronnie back. But with Ronnie, with what Ronnie did last year, like is there going to be a market for him? Right, He was already a free agent, decided to come back to us. Would we just tell him, like, hey, listen, would Chris Ballard tell him straight up, we're going to cut you. Um, we'll give you the same contract, bring you back um, tomorrow. We just got to do da-da-da-da. Like, would that be something that happens with somebody swoop in, take Ronnie Harrison? Who knows, right? And whoever it is, that goes for whoever it is, right? Um, so I think trying to play uh, the roster manipulation game, right? What are they going to do going forward? And Again, unfortunately, Jelani Woods going to be out uh, for multiple months, it sounds like, um, potentially the whole season. Again, haven't really heard anything definitive on that. I just saw out indefinitely, which is not good. Um, not having a timetable, not what you want, especially for a guy that, that's had the, the injury bug already in his career. So Raekwon Davis is back. Jelani Woods out indefinitely. Um, could be gone. You let me know what you think about this situation down in the comments section. Of course, make sure you subscribe with notifications on so you get notified anytime we have more videos on this channel. As always, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and go Colts.